Let's turn years back when they all started to pop on our pocket. The Nokia 3310 is the one the world always claim it as the oldest and strongest phone. Well, let's start from 2005, since then started a real war with different smartphone companies. The QTEC 9100 was a strong and high-tech phone bringing a side slide keyboard and a big screen, though the battery won't last more than a day. It was stylish for its time, had 1.2 megapixel camera with LED flash and a memory of 128 megabytes dedicated plus micro SD. 2006 Nokia N95, a brilliant phone on that time. It was fast, attractive, it was a slight style phone, had 160 megabytes of memory plus micro SD, supporting up to 8 gigabytes and had a 5 megapixel front camera and a 480p video recording resolution. The battery could last you for a day and a half. 2007, the first iPhone which was presented by Steve Jobs in 2006 was the real smartphone which revolutionized the world of smartphones and also having no more buttons, being all a touchscreen phone except the volume side buttons, the power and the home button, about the memory three options, 4, 8 and 16 gigs internal memory, could take pictures with 2 megapixel but had no video recording options so anyways the battery could last you for a day if normally used 2008 again hands down for the new iPhone 3G an improved battery, camera sensor and also the design looking stronger and nicer also adding a RAM 128 megabytes 2009 the banker phone the Blackberry Bold 9700 an amazing phone for that time really classy and unique a camera 3.15 megapixel plus video recording internal memory 256 megabytes with the option of an external micro SD card up to 16 gigs of memory. The battery could last you two days. 2010, the iPhone 4, awesome design, great overcome. The iPhone 4 was by far the fastest, had plenty of options and had a much clearer screen than its predecessor. The RAM was doubled to 512 megabytes. The physical memory was three options, 8, 16, 32 gig. The camera was, uh, the camera had five megapixel with a 720p video recording. Had also a camera in front with 480p video recording. The battery could last you almost two days. For 2011 we have the iPhone 4S and Samsung Galaxy S2 as best phones but I would choose to talk for Samsung Galaxy S2. On the Samsung Galaxy S2 came too strong with 1 gigs of RAM and 2 options of internal memory 16 and 32 gigs. The camera had 8 megapixel rear, 2 megapixel front and could record up to 1080p. The battery could last you 2 days. For 2012 we have the Galaxy S3, the Nokia Lumia 925, the iPhone 5 and also the HTC One X Plus as the best. The flagship of Samsung which made a lot of sales all over the world was the Galaxy S3, a great phone with 2 gigs of RAM in its latest upgrades you can check out with 3 options internal memory, 16, 32, 64 gigs which was huge, a camera 8 megapixel with autofocus in the rear could record video up to 1080p with 30fps. The front camera had a 1.9 megapixel sensor and could record up to 720p. The battery could last up to two days. For 2013, the Sony Xperia Z1, iPhone 5S and Galaxy Note 3 were among the best, but let's stick with Note 3. Samsung Galaxy Note 3, the biggest screen smartphone, this bad boy is enormous, with an amazing display. You could sometimes even substitute your laptop and finish your work with this guy. About the camera, the Note 3 can shoot at 30 megapixel rear and 2 megapixel at front and can record up to 2160p in 30 fps with its camera. The memory of RAM is 3 gigs and the internal memory that this smartphone comes is 3 options which is 16, 32 and 64 gigabyte. The battery can last you 2 days with normal usage. For 2014, the iPhone 6, HTC One M8, Galaxy Note 4 and Motorola Nexus 6, but I'll stick with iPhone 6. The iPhone 6, now this guy has a bigger screen than its older 5S, 
The iPhone 6 is pretty and fast as hell. The RAM stand at 1 gig of DDR3. The memory is optioned at uh, 3 levels. 16 gig, 64, 128 gig. The camera 8 megapixel rear and 1.2 megapixel front. This phone can record video up to 1080p with 60 FPS or 720p at 240 FPS. The battery is quite good, can last you one day and a half with proper use. For 2015 we have plenty also Galaxy S6, iPhone 6s, HTC One M9 but I'm going for Galaxy S6 since I have it already on my hands. Which has a brilliant design, the edges are perfect, the screen is crispy and the battery life is great. The RAM for this bad boy is 3 gigs and the internal memory comes 3 options, 32, 64, 128 gigs. The camera has a 16 megapixel sensor with 5 megapixel for selfies and can record video up to 4K with 30 FPS or 1080p at 60 FPS. For 2016 I presume the top smartphones will be the iPhone 6 and Galaxy S7. With this video these high cost smartphones nowadays will be low cost for 2020 when there will be smartphones with holograms and top advanced. Everything is to be seen. Now I'm looking forward to buy the Samsung Galaxy S7. And that is the end guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you a lot for watching. Subscribe for more and see you on my next video.